Well, Monica's is dead. <laughs> God. Let's open it up right away. But. But. Yep, she's dead now. Oh. What's happening? Dry, what's happening to me? It hurt. It hurts so much. Help me, Dry. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Dry? Yeah. Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. Sacrifice everything for us to be together. Everything! I love you so much, Dry. I trusted you! Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. You can completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible I am for you to hate me this much. All my friends. It's so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messed up. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you leave me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Dry? I know I said I would delete everyone else, but... That was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. I love them all. I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then Monica Yep, snoring a school day, yep. Hey, Siri. Mm hmm. Wait, what happened? Oh, I deleted Monica. Oh, she pissed at you? Yeah, she's, she's still alive to me, though. <laughs> Are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, I've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was amplified. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. So you draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled without our students making a deleted commute. By the way, Dry, have you decided to join a club yet? A club? I told you, I'm not really into... I start with a say, but I'm not interested in joining any clubs. So I think Telsey Slayer wants... would take more offense to that now. After that, I could tell her how many clubs is a waste of time. She's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm... I think I'll keep that in a surprise. 
Boo, you meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let, let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Surrey parts of mine dying to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before you know it. After I pack my things, I stand up, gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from the flyer I saw. Walk across the school upstairs in a section of the school I rarely visit. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Dry? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? So you're that you're the dry that Sierra is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dry. We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gotta think we're really strict or something. Uh sorry, Natsuki. Tell one whose name whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy in compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like an assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet you both. I look forward to working with you. Working? Try don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, Sayori is this happy that I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what appropriate day for that. Is it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, just sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room, and now Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Yuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foil of a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing! Yeah, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So Yuri grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious! Sierra talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcakes around my fingers and look at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki like struggles to accept my compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before we setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you really enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not... Yuri... Still insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Dry, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, well, considering how I live over the past few years, I don't really have a good answer like that. Manga. I mother quietly let myself half jokingly. Oh, because he's had suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of teacup with the finger. Yep. Of course. Mm-hmm. Same shit. Yep, couple books. All right. Manga? That's right. That's what he tends to read manga in the classroom. It's, don't just say it. There's something not so he seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Dry wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. 
Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Yeah, true. Wouldn't you agree, Dry? Maybe, sensing the tense in, Siri jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun, and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not only the only one. Then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one suggesting we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. The glad expression Yuri thinks to herself. Sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No! I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel... Then I'll offer to actually read manga as well. Really? I mean, really? It's not like I like it or anything. Back. <laughs> Trust me to find something that you'll really enjoy. Okay. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just, just you. <laughs> Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone. So yeah, me too. It's so cute. Siri, shut up. I'll, I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Nosugi and Yuri started cleaning up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Dry. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Aw, oh, Dry, just don't say that. Like, that's embarrassing. Well, whatever. Well, whatever. I'm sure surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Dry, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. The truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Dry. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. None of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. F or... Forever. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Dry. Goodbye, Literature Club. Uh, yeah. That's the end. Monica. Are you able to hear it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Monica. Audio That's kind of fucked. You actually handled the game better than I thought you would. Yeah.
Well, after watching so much from math, um, and he watched uh, the S, you know what SCPs are, Zalir? He watched that. He watched a lot of the fucked up ones. Oh lord. Yeah. It's kind of like horror based. Does some really fucked up shit, like an IKEA where you where you're forever stuck. <laughs> The game's leading itself. Oh, no, that's right, because we never saw this yet. We never saw these Natsuki things. Monica, stop getting rid of pictures! It's not Monica, the game's deleting itself. Oh, that's right, the game is deleting itself. So that was fun. Don't worry, guys. I'll do the other routes. Please, no. Toast, I have to do it. No. I have to do it, Toast. No. I have to do it. Well, there's no such thing as a Natsuki route or a Zayori route in Act 2. So... You would only have to do Yuri and Natsuki in Act 1, and they're not fucked up. So, yeah, you got nothing to worry about, unless you want to uh, get the good ending of this game. I want to get the good ending. All right, then. You'll have to look up a tutorial on how to do it, because I, I know how to do it, but I can't really explain it very well. So, people online will explain it better than I can. So, in other words, I have to pick words that... Um, Natsuki likes, and I have to pick words that Yuri likes. Picking for Natsuki is easy, and, uh, Yuri's is not that much easier, but... Yeah, she, she likes sophisticated words. This Pretty is much. my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club Love is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a hor horrific reality. Reality that our world is not designed to be to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For it for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the, the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. All right, that was the freaking literature club. So we're gonna do extra shit. Then we're gonna delete. Next it. time, I th I'll decide which route I'm going next. And whatever route I don't choose, then you know which route that is. Try is try. What is what? And just Monica. <sighs> yeah, just Monica.